if you come to know me and my channel, you know that I... Not the biggest fan of Nintendo. I, I like their games. I grew up playing things like Mario on the Wii, but I do not like Nintendo as a company. And I feel like that's a bit of a like general consensus that a lot of the public agrees to, considering how often Nintendo literally just airstrikes people's houses with copyright because of very mundane things. I mean, there were literally YouTubers who had their channels terminated temporarily because of just having Nintendo gameplay in their videos. So like, Nintendo isn't a wonderful company, they're not a splendid group of people, but recently, the community has been the group of people that I think are actually some of the strangest individuals on the internet. And it's because of the most mundane update that Nintendo has put out that I had to talk about in a video because it doesn't make sense why people are so angry about a facial feature changing. So of course, the change that had happened is, so Princess Peach is getting a game soon. You know, Mario's been the, the main man of all of our games recently, but Princess Peach is getting a game of her own. And this is the cover art for the game. And recently nintendo came out uh, by the way look at this this is harmless right this is fine nintendo came out with a new poster this is the new poster can you spot the difference I i'll give you like like 10 15 seconds you might have already noticed it yeah her facial expressions are more than just emotionless <laughs> They added emotion to two of the four faces on the screen. And oh my god, I have never seen the Nintendo community so incredibly angry on Twitter. Which is saying something because they get angry very easily. People need to campaign to get this reversed. This isn't Princess Peach. We need to stop trying to make every female character some smug, overly confident girl boss. It's okay for female characters to be soft and cute. Feminism has destroyed people's ability to be feminine. She has emotion now what are you talking about isn't emotion like considered a feminine trait isn't one of the big like sigma male grind set things to be like okay men having emotions that's cringe why is it wh what is wrong with princess peach looking at the camera with eye they essentially gave her eyebrows I mean, she has them here, but they essentially made her eyebrows more visible. People were saying that they're making her more like her movie counterpart, which I think is just moronic, because I think that it's literally just adding emotion to a character's face. Because I don't think that Princess Peach's face was emotionless for the entire extent of her existence for a reason. I don't think there's deep lore behind the fact that she looks like a piece of cardboard. I think maybe they're adding emotion now because their animation ability is better, or maybe because they're putting more effort into the character's now that they're movies i don't know i don't really know i'm not nintendo i can't give you a reason but i feel like the fact that people are getting angry about it is so incredibly goofy to me my day is actually ruined i woke up today and opened twitter and the first thing i saw was this they apparently updated the key art from my future favorite game of all time princess peach showtime and what did they do they changed Peach's face to be more expressive, as the dude bro gamers are calling it. Expressive meaning girl boss and badass, the opposite of bubbly. This is actually non-satire. I was digging into the comments. This seems to be non-satire. If it is satire, you fooled me. You win. But <laughs> I think this is real. They're getting angry about giving the woman emotions. But hold, the, the video's not over yet. Let's continue. Now, why does this upset me so much, you ask? Tell me. As you guys probably understand from my art style, I'm a big Maho Shoujo fan. In Maho Shoujo anime, young girls and boys are taught that being strong doesn't necessarily mean being masculine. Princess Peach is so popular precisely because she has always been the epitome of this exact idea. Be it in sports games, Smash Bros, or even her own little game, Peach has taught us that there is strength in beauty and grace. And her character design also reflects this. With that being said, I would like to show my discontent with this new key art that seems to mimic movie Princess Peach and... The Rock? Okay, uh, <laughs> the Rock part made me think it might have been satire, but I think she was just trying to put some comedy on her actual complaint. I think that the point she's trying to make holds weight. I think the whole idea that like, yeah, you can have strength and be a woman at the same time. Sure. I bet a woman could beat me up, but at the same time, I think that getting angry about giving Peach eyebrows and making her just look slightly down, like, all they did was essentially just can't her look slightly. Like, they went from looking straight to looking upwards. 
they, they just added detail. I don't even, I see this less as a movie counterpart and more as just a more detailed game character. The same way that you can actually count the hairs on Mario's head in Super Mario Odyssey. Like, it, it's not a problem to just add, it, it, I don't know why I'm still complaining about this. Like, there are literal tweets that I'm finding when scrolling around this saying like, OMG, no way, they updated the box art for Sonic Frontiers and Super Mario Bro Wonder. I'm so glad they finally gave them some personality and emotions after years of nothing. They literally just copy and paste in the movie characters and put them on. Like, you have to see the difference between a movie character edit and this. Th this is literally... <laughs> Dude, they actually just want to get angry about something. She still looks like a woman. She still gives off feminine vibes. Now, I can't tell if I'm... This is a hot take, right? If you disagree with me, I'd love to hear about it in the comments and maybe describe better than what these Twitter users are describing. But... It feels like she's still keeping the vibe of Princess Peach. I mean, I, I, why don't they complain about the fact that she's doing karate if they don't like her not being feminine? Like, like that that's a complaint that should have been on the original box. And, and sword fighting, wouldn't they argue that that's more masculine? And I don't think that. I think that women can do whatever a man can. I mean, there's some women that can do things better than me because I'm a goddamn YouTuber. But there is, like, I, I, I feel like complaining about the facial... I'm, I don't know, I'm literally talking to a goddamn brick wall right now, I'm like this gif. However, I disagree with the other, like, side of this situation where people are like, we need to kick people like this out of the Mario community, like, holy shit, nobody cares about Princess Peach redesign. That, that I agree about, that I agree, no one should give a shit about a goddamn facial feature change, but I, I think that kicking people out of a community isn't really possible. I, I Like, tight-knit communities on the internet don't exactly exist anymore. It's kind of just gigantic bubbles of people who like a certain niche. And, of course, with the internet being in the modern day as it is, if you love something, you need to have it be your number one thing at all times, all the time. So I understand that people are so uptight about this, but I still find it kind of strange. Like, I don't know. If you're going to get angry about something, why not find something genuine to be angry about? There's a lot of things you could be angry about with Nintendo. Uh, getting angry about Princess Peach canting her angle slightly down and looking up at you is not one of them. But really, that's about where this lies. I'm sorry this is a bit of a short video today, but I want to get out of here. There's not much you can say about Princess Peach changing in a single 2D image, but... That's neither here nor there. I'm going to drop you guys the song of the day, which, just like Princess Peach, is Starry Eyes. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. It's another Dawn FM song. I've been trying to... I, I love Dawn FM, and I haven't recommended you guys enough of their song, the songs from this album yet. So, here's another one. Give it a listen if you want to, and I'll be hitting the road. Uh, thank you guys for spending time with me. Subscribe if you're new, maybe. Catch me for future content. And uh, I'll see you when I see you. And as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, good night. And uh, don't worry about mundane things. It's a waste of energy. God, it's so goofy.